be MLXJ easily coming in with the counter gank here as well, but that's Zenith's way to come down. The double bubble here as well, as Wuxian's coming in. The double teleports at the same time. The longest auto attack in history for first blood for Wuxian, as Let Me Now is getting aggressed on the equilibrium strike for the stun here as well. But King, they'll take first, first blood and they'll back away. And Wuxian says, but I didn't even have time to get Adoration stacks. The hyper scaling is here and actually looks like an early dragon being started off by Nidalee. We mentioned the Hunted passive with the takedown. Just does a lot of early game damage. Yeah, able to smash down this dragon. Wuxian almost didn't need to turn up as MLXG going to secure that dragon getting punished for spending so much time in that bottom side. Yeah, so you have to say at this point in the game, pretty wow. Oh, Cataclysm just straight on top of Assassin there in the mid. Wild Growth is still available. There's the, the ultimate coming down from Jahu. It's a nice double bubble, but not enough. And Assassin, he's dead. Yeah, and let me actually lower health here than Sky as well. So Sky unable to stop that teleport if it was to come through. And this dragon just gets melted from Gamti, evening that one up. King going for the trade here, trying to pick up that mid turret, but the teleport to come through. Solar Flare onto Wuxian here as well. Oh my gosh, that stand aside, stand aside was godlike as Danger comes through with the Cataclysm. Doesn't catch anyone. Let me right in the middle of the fight. An assassin gonna get melted. Wuxian trying to kite. Now that Bloodthirst is doing a lot of work. Flashes out of the way, but Sync Dream catches up the heel has to be blown that flash into the twisted advance and tail picks up the kill and gamti a team fighting out of their minds today the out maneuvering they're going to pick up another two turrets for themselves with no response from king and what have we been talking about these corky comps group with your corky and take down turrets and what are gamti doing they're doing exactly that the teleports come down but sky gets immediately locked down look at the ults coming on top of that aurelia the wild growth is going to be beautiful though king they're trying to turn it around sky has to get out the empress divide destroys wushin on the backside though and danger Stab Sky in the head. GT again looking fantastic. MLXG, he does manage to take down Tail, but the flash, and there's the Q and the E. Zhao, who finishes off MLXG. 4 0 and 3. He's the carry this time as Assassin tried to come round from the backside, but Let Me and Sync Dream have discovered him, and the Birdman is approaching. This guy is so scary. Glitter Lance. Assassin's just being really annoying now on this Lulu. But this is once again Gamti, I guess, prioritizing the kill. There wasn't really an objective to push, and it, in the end, it means that I think that was an ace for one kill. Because it honestly looked like their body was destroyed as Lamb. Yeah, he's dead. He's yeah, real dead. Speaking of bodies that were getting destroyed, that's a Nami. Yeah, well, it was. A top lane turret, once again, under siege, Gamti. Just rotating around the map. They're going again. Yeah, Sky actually gets engaged on here as well. Sync Dream right in amongst that fight. A beautiful tidal wave across everyone. Tries to disengage this one as King now. They're turning around. They're trying to make it work. Jauhu off the backside. MLXG was there for a sec, but he took a ride and he is now definitely dead. Sky still trying to go deep. But Jauhu is so much consistent damage. The double bubble to come in. Gamti are getting very low. Wuxian cashes in some stacks here. And Jauhu, he's still got his Zonyas. He can still be a threat. As that was a huge <laughs> twisted advance. He's going to pay for it with his life. Jauhu now going low. Gamti, they may have kept going for a little bit too long here in this fight. Wuxian has a lot of damage. Flashing forward. Another kill. Sync Dream is now the focus. And Wuxian with the triple in the end. Turn it around for the ace. His counterpart at the moment. Going for that, uh, maybe Yomu's Ghost Blade into Trinity Force build that we've been seeing quite a lot over in China, but even that, he's going to have to go off in a couple more team fights to really pull his team back. Because of how much damage Azir does to Baron, they're going to face check this maybe, and that's bad news because with a Leona rolled over the wall, they're nice and clumped. Oh my gosh, there's the Soul Blade, the Cataclysm as well. It's a nice side wave to try and stop this one out, but Wuxian, he's way in the front line and he's going to die straight up. Tail picks up the kill, Xiaohu grabs one as well, the bottom lane's dead, and Gamti, they just want to go to the Baron. Yeah, and would you believe that, Atlas? That's probably the best that could have gone for them. Only their bottom lane being taken out, there was a fantastic Cataclysm, Soul Flare only clipped two people, but regardless, with two people dead, happy to start up the Baron, looking to get that one off the map. We mentioned how much damage Azir did, and there's nothing King can do about it. Well, they're going to try and do something here as Sky's around to the side. MLXD not able to get the steal, and he's most definitely dead, and Sky and the rest of King have to back away. This series, they haven't done that, and he's made them pay.
Yeah, and it might be part of Gamzee's banning strategy as well, taking away that Thresh and Janna that Sync Dream doesn't like as much and making the enemy support uncomfortable. The inhibitor turret's gonna go down. Gamzee, they're gonna start this fight up. Let me, oh my god, he was dead for a second, was lame. And Wooshin, that solar flare was godlike. And look at the damage from this corky Azir. Sky trying some fancy footwork to get out the backside and Danger diving very deep. But King have been torn to shreds and this bottom lane has been punished for that early lead over and over again. Yeah, they certainly have, and it looks like they want to continue to try and push in. And the problem with the flank coming through from Nidalee means that they're not grouped as five, and the force is just too easy. They're looking to close the game out. The Nexus turrets are falling down now. Gamty putting a clinic on this series as they take their first 2-0 in the LPL in such emphatic fashion. Xiaohu says see you later to MLXG. And Gamty, my gosh, what a statement.